what is the deepest? Baby, I know. Alright, before we start this, I just want to apologise. I heard you. I don't mean to. And it will all be worth it. You'll have a lovely big fat bottom. And you'll look amazing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I'm doing this to you, baby. So Mate, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Weirdo! It's Ben and Chrissy of Carbon and Car Diaries, and welcome back to another video! Another one. This is a poor baby. Big, big video. I'm taking the plunge, the archers are getting cut out, oh. and the overfenders are going on. It's all happening on the S2K, baby. I oh, know, mate. Scary stuff. Fiberworks, shout out again for supplying the overfenders. Same yes, people that supplied the front wings. So, Amazing. I'm a bit scared, but it'll be fine, won't it, Chrissy? Mate, like you said before, right? What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, I could cut two eye. And then we have to <laughs> buy a whole new rear quarter for an S2K, which is nothing. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, <laughs> here's the over fender, and it just sticks on like so over there. You, yeah, let me demonstrate. If you just pass it to your assistant. Ooh. And it goes something like Yeah, perfect. That is. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Lovely. Ooh, lovely. Look. Yeah, that's. So, yeah. So, we're going to mask it up a bit more. And we're going to mark out these holes first. Get them drilled. Here we could say. Drilled. And then get the riv nuts in. And then go from there. And then start cutting. So, what you are going to need to do this job is. Oh, and I've got to say one thing as well, Ben has done so much research on all this, oh, as you know what he's like, but this is so, so... It's serious stuff, mate. It is serious. Let's have a look. Serious stuff. Right, so i got some nice new drill bits. More new drill bits. We've got the rev, rev gun. So it's not a rivet we're using, it's a removable rivet, so I think they're called rev nuts. So cool. rather than, and this is, I'll put links to everything down in the description if you're going to do this yourself. This one with some Euro car parts, so you can put normal rivets in or the riv nuts. So basically it's just a threaded end on there. And I've got a bag of riv nuts, six millimeter I've gone for, M6 riv nuts. So basically that screws onto there like so. And then when you pull it back, you screw it right to the end. When you pull it back like that, that little serrated edge there crunches up and then makes yeah I was, makes I've never solid. actually yeah. I've used normal rivets but not anything I have yeah. it. no, it's pretty cool although Ben you did that is the, definitely the best gun to buy because you had a bit of a mishap with uh, yeah I had a test run with a £10 eBay job and it literally just broke as soon as I pulled the trigger oh, I did <laughs> I managed two and then it broke and then yeah so and then you got your M6 I went for the Allen head ones M6 doofer that screws into there like so very nice bench. But also, you did uh, discover something else with the actual uh, rib nuts themselves. Yeah, I want to use stainless, obviously, because it's stainless and uh, it don't rust and all that, but Ali doesn't rust either, does it? No. Um, but to use a stainless rib nut, because they're so much denser and harder, they're really hard to crush and you can't do it by hand. You need like a battery yeah. one and they're like 200 yeah. quid and I ain't fucking doing that. So, you need those, and you need your M6 Tight bolts. ass bastard. Fucking 200 quid, mate. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, 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 if you were doing it day in, day out. Exactly, well. yeah. If we were a business, I'd be all over it. What do you mean, we are? Oh, that's got all rusty. That's how damp it is in here. <laughs> i got a... It's like a punch tool, but it's not one that you hammer. You just push it, and then it goes click, and then it leaves a little indent of where you're going just so your drill doesn't slip everywhere. So we've got one of those. Again, I'll try and put all the links down in the description. We've got two different grinders. 
got the air grinder, which is a little obviously yeah. going to be easier for when you put a nice new blade in there. And I've got a normal grinder. And that, ladies you are and gentlemen, the grinder is all you should need. And a lot of balls. Shut up, Robster, before you even make a comment on about grinders, all right? Oh, we've got a Robster. <laughs> Look at these that I got for me, my new wheels. They are beautiful. Shout out to the man that is Gareth Ash Ashcroft, sorry, Gareth Ashcroft from uh, Expression Culture. Go check him out on YouTube. He, well, he didn't hook me up with these, but I'm, I'm never sure of like thread size and all that bullshit. Yeah, yeah. So he just said, what do you want? And apparently these are really good. Muteki! Oh my God. So I had to buy four locking nuts. That's one for each wheel. Um, and it comes with the locking nut key and the one that goes over the top. Oh, right, sweet. yeah, yeah. And these? then you also then have oh, got free air freshener. Oh, these. Uh, these are from Tegawa, by the way. They're all stainless steel as well. They're not they're not uh, alley or whatever, so they're nice and hard. And then we've also got, how many have we got? 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 of those. Look at those bad boys. Look at that. And how many have you got? 20. Plus four of those. So I've actually got 24. So is I'm that, one short. Is that enough? Though? I think it's. I think it's enough. You sure? Four each wheel. That's sixteen. Plus four of them. So yeah, twenty. So that's twenty, Robert. Okay, twenty wheel nuts on a car. With five studs. Not always, but on ours. With five studs. With five studs, yeah. So yeah, let's have a look. See how good to match the purple. Ooh, so nice. I wanted to match the brake calipers, obviously, and there's going to be a little bit of a purple thing going on, but it's not too far off. It's a little bit darker, look, but. It's going to look nice that against the wheels, isn't it? Oh, Have a look. Oh, oh my gosh. It's going to look nice against the wheels. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a bit of purple. I'm late. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with the job in hand, shall we? So, we'll stick a little time lapse up, shall we? Of us marking the holes, and then you can film me drilling the first holes in my car. Oh, my God. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drill it all first, and we're going to mock it all up before and then afterwards then i'm gonna like spray the primer in the holes and stuff just to cover the bare metal to stop it rusting and then when we finally finally fit it after paint i think i'll even put a blob of silicon on each nut yeah just to keep the water out do you know what i mean doing, yeah mate all these little things oh yeah so it gets all close these... to my fucking face it's an evening tonight as well isn't it we're all down here on a weekday evening make oh. a difference so little way it's a fucking anaconda <laughs> So what we have done, ladies and gentlemen, is we did one hole down here. This is a bit of a sod, because it's a little bit warped, this one. So we're gonna kind of work our way along. So we've done one in, and then I've marked one, two, three holes, and then we've got them three in, and then we should be able to mark all the others, shouldn't we? Yes, we should. So we you get your little, your little pinger, you get it on the mark, and then it goes, gives you a click, and it makes the tiniest little indent. And then all it does is stop your drill bit from Slipping off. Slipping off, really. Yeah, that, yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, so we well, can feel it if you're on your finger. It's got a tiny little dent in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then what I do is, you don't have to, you can just smash in with the biggest drill bit size you need, but I tend to go quite small, then a little bit bigger, then the proper size. It just helps. Makes sense, mate. Bit. Makes sense. And what I did was I've got. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Stay there, Christy. Okay. Well, oh, he goes. Look, he's got his little swagger on. That. Who's this bad boy? Oh, Whenever he's doing the next two thousand video, though, as you know, he does that. Shut up. <laughs> so I use this bad boy, which is basically just I bought it for um, measuring his penis. Measuring my penis and Gareth and setting up coilovers to be extremely precise. So. All I did was get one of these, like so, and then I'll add up there, I get it on the thickest part, which is right near the 
collar. And then that gives you what size drill bit you need, see? So that's 8.79 millimeters. So it's like a nine millimeter drill bit, basically. Nine millimeter, Uzi nine millimeter. Watch it. Very precise. Very precise. So now we drill the car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this bit, Chrissy. Not there. Don't fucking say that. <laughs> Dick. There we go. Bye bye. Let's wait for the water to come out. Shut up. I don't know where that's gone. Do you think I need to go in through the next skin? Nah, that's deep enough, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Pains me, baby girl. Pains me. See, and that just stops your drill bit from slipping. Clever, eh? That is very clever, you mate. Don't be like, <laughs> Like Arnie. <laughs> next size. Oh. What's, what next size are you using? I don't know. Just a, it's a bigger one. Oh, right. So much for being precise, eh? No pressure, I don't need to put pressure on. Let the drill do the work. That's what you want to do is dent your fucking panel. Can you get out of my face? <laughs> That's what you want to do is put a fucking dent in it, obviously. And the reason why. Well, this is my reason why. I haven't seen anyone else do it this way. That I'm drilling these and putting the rivet nuts in first is because when we cut this out, which is going to be quite high, it's going to go all like this. We're going to cut all of that out. These two, there's two skins in there basically, and once you cut through them, they're going to be floppy. Yeah. And then when you go to put your rivet nut in and you drill on it, it's going to be bending the panel and stuff. So while it's solid, I would suggest. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Doing this first, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then you get your line of where, yeah, exactly. yeah, you where the top that. of the thing is as well. So. Yeah. Now we go with the big boy. I told him to, I told him to do it that way. Just sort of clarify that. Well, oh. oh my God. I don't like it. And there you oh. go. Got three giant holes in the side of your car. Brilliant. Things going to better. Shit on it. So bullet holes, mate. Dude. Oh, that one's fucking shit. Oh no, you're not gonna see it. Down over, I don't want the nut to not sit flush. You just elongate it a little bit. You elongate it. What are you talking about? Oh, just elongate it. Oh, when you drill that. Yeah, like that. Come on, well, come on. I don't want to make the hole too big. Just yeah. take off the rough bits. The rough bits. The rough bits. We have to fold it inside. Uh, uh. There we go. Uh. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. Okay. We got it, bud. Right, so we've done that bit. And like I said, we're not, I'm not gonna spray any stuff in there or anything just yet because this is just for more couple purposes. Um, and while these are off, another good thing is that you get these stupid little plastic guards here and that trap all the dirt. So I've taken them off. I've done it on the other side, I'll show you later. Uh, why, I'm gonna wire wheel all that off and sort all the rust out. It's the only place it's rusted, isn't it, really? It is, yeah. You can see that, that bit's just fell off. Uh, rust. Right, anyway. So now we need three of these. Three? Un, deux, trois. Un, deux, trois. Un, deux, trois. Whatever. And you can adjust it there, and then all I do is I, I pull it and just make sure that it pulls it in enough. Do you know what I mean? That's more than enough. And you put that on, like that. Screw it right the way to the end, like so. So it's right butt up to the end. You should just put it in and. Like that. Make sure it's. Oh. You do need to be quite strong for this. Luckily, I'm very strong. There we go. Quite a long thread, this one. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Jesus. There we go. Look. There we go. That's it. 
We don't need shears doing all of them, do we really? No, but that's the that's process. One, and it's nice and solid, it doesn't rattle around, which is the whole point of having that little serrated mm. bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, we'll get them two in, get the others marked up, and then we'll get back to y'all. Y'all. Yeah, it's weird being down here at night, isn't it? It is, mate, actually, yeah. It's quite strange. It's a Thursday evening. It is. Right. Very special day tomorrow. Oh, it's Chrissy's birthday tomorrow. It is. So this time, well, this will be going out next week. Wednesday. So it'll already be your birthday gone. Yeah, gone. Happy birthday, Chrissy. Thanks, mate. You're not having anything, you've got a bonnet. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Right then, so like Ben said, we don't need to show you all of that. So no, uh, we'll come back when we mark We'll come back in a wee while. Right, all the holes are drilled. Chris is just doing a bit of math, you know. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the buggeries. They're all in. Lovely handsome, lovely, lovely yeah, handsome. Lovely, lovely. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bolt it on. We've still one more actually to put under there, but we'll do that one afterwards. I'm going to bolt it on and then we're going to pencil line underneath or oh, we need to run a bit of tape as well actually just along the top just so we know but we'll do that when it's on, do that when it's on there yeah, yeah. and then we'll know the highest point of inside the arch and then we'll explain once we've marked that up so the whole, the whole cut point it. of remasking it obviously is so you can see your pencil line basically yes so yeah we'll get that bolted on the draw line Let's do it. It's all getting very serious. We're about to start cutting in a minute. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Right, so she's bolted on. She's fucking huge. Wow. Huge. That's, we haven't put them all in, obviously. It's the only bit that annoys me is that. This is, well, we'll see. That'll pull in there. But what we've got is I've got a rubber trim that goes around. Which will hide that. Hides that anyway. But yeah. We'll see. Right, so. What I'm going to do is. This is a very serious video, this one, isn't it? It's got to be, mate. <laughs> it don't get any more serious than this, does it? Drilling holes in your fucking car, does it, mate? Yeah. It done, does it? That and we've both been to work all day. True. We're a bit tired and... Oh, fucking shit, dude. Rubbish job today. But worth it, mate. Kitchen rewire. Got that end. I've got my leg on it. Messy, messy, messy work. We'll take the rough with the smooth, mate. You do. Think of the money. Think of the money. Right, she's off. Have we got a mark? Yep, sort of. So that's a rough mark there, look. So that is basically the underneath the arch. It goes really high. It actually looks like it's about there. Nice. We don't need to go that high, obviously. So, the idea is, there's two skins on this. So we need to cut low first. So like, there. I'd say. Cut that first skin. Then you can kind of pry them apart a bit. And then we cut a bit higher than that. I'm not going to go right up to there, I don't think. About there, I'd say. Should have been an artist. <laughs> you are. And then it's artist. So your <laughs> inside skin. So that one you go through both skins basically, and then that one, the higher up one, you only go through one skin, and then you can fold up the bottom skin. You like feather it. I'll show you all that anyway, and then weld it and blah blah blah. So we need to get cutting through the bottom skin first. 
Bah. So yeah, it's grinding time, baby. <laughs> right then, the time is now. It's like a dentist. <laughs> Protect if I wear Benjamin. Oh yes. Yes. Safety first. Oh, yeah, well, I wear my weld now, much like. Oh, wow. This is it. No pressure. No pressure, no slips. No pressure, no slips. I'm going to get the lights. Just so I can see. Apologies if it starts flickering on the camera, but I'd rather be able to see. Look at that, look. Right then. I'm just going to stand right in front of it. So, like I said, we're going to start at the low line, cut that out, both skins, well, to there, obviously, because the bumper's there, but we will have to cut a bit of the bumper out, I think. So, yeah, we'll start there. Cut both skins out. And then we'll go from there. So. Let's see some sparks, baby. The first cut is the deepest. Baby, I know. We've got us bring an album out, haven't we? Alex? We have, mate. Cowboy and Carl always do live aid. <laughs> right then. This is it. There we go. There is no turning back at this point, Benjamin. Here he goes. Done it. That's it. That's it. Right, Benj, where are we at? Right, we're, well, I'll show you what we've cut off the cover of off on the floor. So, we've taken, as you can see, in there, I don't know if you can see, it's two skins. So we've gone through both skins with the first cut. Slightly lower, or a lot lower. So that whole piece there, look, cut out. This, I'm going to find around with afterwards. This is purely just so we can fold it up. Um, so now we've done that, now we need to go higher up to about here. Here, I'd say, that second line, just through the first skin. So we'll leave the bottom skin, just go through the first skin, and then that will allow you to fold that bit up, and then you can tuck weld it on, seam seal it, and all that malarkey. What's <laughs> So, not too bad. No, mate, no. Not too bad. This is a godsend. This little, I don't know what you call it, a side grinder. Yeah. I don't know, but it is it's it's so, ideal so steady. Yeah. You can't really go wrong with it. The only way you'll go wrong doing this is by fucking cutting up here. Which would just be stupid. That would be it? very foolish, Benji. It would. Very so foolish. I'm going to cut the outer skin, just the outer skin. I might give it a little one of these where it's, it's kind of apart anyway, look, you can see it. So we just need to be doing that outside skin that's all we need to be doing yeah that's all free yep lovely all free so i'm going to cut that other bit and then uh i'll show you what i've done and then i'll show you the next bit and then we're cut out ready for welding the welding is going to be a separate video i think isn't it yes um so we'll cut it out we'll get it bolted on make sure that it clears and everything and then the next video will be Marky Mark tap welding it all up. I don't, I don't well, we're going to try. It depends because it's so thin, the metal. We'll try and weld it along, but if we can't, then I've got loads of seam sealer. So we'll tack weld it up and then I'll seam seal the shit out of it. 
Oh yes. And uh, I was I was going to spray it or prime it all as well. You might as well, you. mate. You've got all the stuff, haven't you? Just because so. it'll rust like fuck otherwise, anyway. Yeah. So we need to you need to paint the the bare steel edges because they'll rust like fuck. Oh 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 oh! Oh, she's bitten. Oh, the bitch! <gasps> right. You don't mean Didn't that. Mean it. <laughs> so yeah, we'll cut that second Woo. skin and then the first skin, sorry. And then we'll come back to you. Oh, I can't bend over. That's his night, obviously, ruined then. Not for me, but. <laughs> Backtrack there, didn't you? Bloody compressor and I burnt my finger real bad. Couldn't mind, of course, but not. Right, so as you can see, guys and girls, that's the inner skin that I was on about, and we've cut off higher up. God damn it, that hurts. Now, we're going to go down here and cut, 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 cut all the way along like that. Like a fan. Like a fan, yeah. And then we'll get the, mat, the rubber mallet, and then you knock them up. So it folds up to meet that, and then well along the top, trim them off, and uh, yeah, like I said, uh, God, Jesus, fuck, Christ, it's like <laughs> melted bumper on me fucking hand. <laughs> so I think, well, how far do you think I need to go up, Chrissy? What with the fans? Yeah, not well, too far, do we? You're gonna want to be going like there, aren't you? Yeah. I'm just filming absolutely nothing there. Then I reckon about there. Yeah, I reckon so. I'll tell you what, I'll do. I'll cut one and then. Cut one and then we'll have a little... Cut a couple uh, and then we'll bend up. I'm going to use this grinder for this. Just, yeah. Just because, might as well. Like that, and then all the way along. I think we need to go further though. Where's the rubber mallet? The rubber mallet, Jimmy Mallet. I'll fetch it. I'll fetch it! This is what happens to your inner arches, guys and girls, on an S2000. They have this rubber strip that goes along there, and it holds all the crap underneath it, and then it rusts through the first skin. And then eventually, that's when you get your bubbling on the other side. That is the fucking cause of it, that rubber strip they put along there. Mm, there you go. See, research. Ben's top tip of the day. Top tip of the day. Yeah, let's go a lot more than that. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it always needs to go up here, doesn't it? Yeah. Which is going to be slightly difficult. Safety 101, that was. Health and safety, yeah, no guard on it, isn't there? <laughs> that is it. Then we should do that all the way along. Then we'll just weld them from above, I would imagine. I don't know, that's Mark's department. 
and then I'll just I thought so. I'll smear the shit out of all the other gaps you seem to. Yeah, I would have thought you literally just fucking run a. It's just to hold the fins up, and then I'm going to yeah. seam seal underneath because that goes rock solid anyway, like a bloody weld. Yeah. Then, uh, which will hide all these gaps. You can't. I wonder if you could just whack it up in a one. No. <laughs> no flex in it, mate. So I'll cut all them finnies out. Finnies. I do apologise, I think my filming's been horrendous today. You just stood there drinking coffee. Shut up, eh? Alright. Get in! Alright, here we go. Back in a bit. Bloody Kushti! Poor car. What are we going to do there? Will that not knock out? I'll have to cut it down. So it seems a lot thicker there, everybody. I might have to cut them a bit further, I think. Yeah. I'd say so. Yeah, you get the idea. And then we'll, we'll have to re-blend them all back again because we'll have to grind the paint off there obviously so we can weld to it. Then we'll just go do 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 all the way around there, cut the fins off, and then I'll pour it and then I'll whack a flip load of seam sealer under there, I'll wire wheel it all off. Seam sealer the shit out of it. And there we go. Some massive wheels. <laughs> <laughs> right then, that's both sides now done. Uh, Ready to rock and roll for Marky Martin while uh, well, we'll come around this side too because there's a bit of light. Well, everything was off, obviously. I've, uh, I've wheeled all this back, cut out the rust, and I wheeled all this in here back and built hammered it. To protect it from the rust situation, Protection. we've also ground off a little bit of paint, like 10 mils worth of paint, just so that we can weld to it at the weekend. Yeah, there we have it. Two arches cut out, Chrissy. Stage one. Scary, but we were just chatting, weren't we? There we go. But really, that's this size. Quite a bit neat in there, so. We were dis <laughs> disgusting, weren't we? A minute ago. I was like, oh, why, why do I do such stupid things to cars? But this is the dream. It is for you, isn't like, it? The dream, like, the dream car was, was an S2000, but the dream car was a wide body S2000. It was. That was the dream. And you are conscious. I'm making it happen. So we're going to leave it there, I think, this video. Yeah. And then we're going to do another video of the welding it up and setting ourselves on fire and. The usual. And then priming it, seam sealing it, and all that shizer. So yeah, I think we're gonna leave it there. It's come, oh. I did that on your leg. She's coming together nicely. She's getting there, mate. She's certainly getting there, bless her. Yes. Oh God, look at it in the background, look. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be so worth it though. It's absolutely filthy. Oh, it's disgusting. We were just saying, weren't we? It's disgusting. When it's done and the wings are painted and the other fenders are painted and the rims are on giving it that first wash and actually seeing what it is and putting the J's bumper on the front. Yeah. It's just going to be like... Well, actually, but actually, might, when it's due for that, I might get some of that built Hamburg snow foam which everyone's raging about. Yeah, a lot of people are banging on about yeah. that, aren't they? So, yeah. Give that yeah. a go on it. And apparently their wheel clean is amazing. Well. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe we'll give no that. But yeah, people yeah. say about it, like, no scent or nothing, but it's like supposed to be amazing yeah, stuff. Yeah, it just does the job. Yeah. And, and they're, they're like rust-proofing products that are fucking second to none. Mm. So, yeah. Awesome! So we're going to leave it there. Because what time is it? It's Twenty-five to eight, which isn't as late as I thought we were going to be. No, to be fair. it's not. I no. thought it was going to be about ten o'clock. Yeah. Um, it's been a very long day, but yeah, we're going to leave it there, and then we're going to do another video. So this will be part one of cutting the arches, and there'll be a part two of cutting the arches. There will be. 
Yeah. Exciting times. Awesome. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Yep, they're ticking away nicely. Oh, I've got to do a little bit. If you don't follow us on Instagram, that will be here. And if you like to follow us on Facebook, <laughs> that'll be here. He's such a cop. I love it. I've got to sit there now and uh, edit, edit them exactly as he says it so they ping up in time. He's a cop. He doesn't get to do any of that awesome stuff. No, I get to watch you do it. Though, anyway, so yeah, thank you, Danny. Danny Days for sponsoring Tactical Racing. Get all your discount codes in the description for all your awesome stuff and get cheap stuff. Carbon Maride, Toxic Knobs. <sighs> loads of them. Look loads forward to shows. Loads. Cannot wait. Oh, uh, yes. It's, yeah, we'll, I we'll, just we'll, hope I'm ready, mate. Well, we've got it's July. I'm not, I'm taking it as it is. Fucking hell. I am, mate. I can't it's... not take a car. Can. Even if I've got black arches on there and my wheels on, I'm got, taking it. You've got the van. Oh, yeah, brilliant. You go, but you can roll with me, mate. I've got to take my car, I? even if it's not painted. I'm going to just take it. July 18th, it. it should be done. It should be. Anyway, thank you, everybody. We should see you on the next video. Peace out. Part two. Oh, hang on. Peace out. Fuck that right up, didn't we? What? We didn't say we love you. We can't not say we love you. We love you all. Thank you all for watching. Until we the love next video, oh. part two. Oh, mate, we're fucking this right up. Well, you're not fucking following my lead. I can't lead. Even remember. I did it right. You did it. You've got to follow my lead. Right, I'm following your lead. Okay. Thanks for all the subscribers. We love you all. And, and we, we should see you on the next, next video. video. Peace, Peace out. out. Bye. Bye. Part two. Woohoo.